Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about lightning pages. So let's, uh, before talking about lightning pages, before actually showing you how to configure lightning uh, record pages, I think it's important when I first show you how how can the lightning record pages be set up and how is it different from page layouts. So before I think last release, uh, lightning record pages were only object based and uh, you could set up lightning record pages for different profiles uh, different record pages for different profiles uh, for the same object but now with this release we are able to configure lightning record pages with each record types which is why the name changed to lightning record pages so when you click on lightning record pages on the object manager you'll see here um, Let's click on the view page assignments and see what that means. So this will actually show you how the, how the page assignments is done in Lightning. So about assignments and we can see here that it can be assigned based on app. So these are all the apps I have in my org and based on record types. So I have account which has three different record types. It can be assigned based on that and based on profile. So look up and assign, you, can, you also can look up. So let's see if I have anything right now. Business account, profile, I'm gonna say system admin. If you just wanna look up and if you, if you want to see what is defined right now. So right now, as you can see, I have org default, which is um, mostly the case when you're just getting started and org default is what I set up um, and no matter what I look for here it's going to show me org default so that's just a quick overview of what it can be assigned upon so you have org default and you can this is how you can assign app default and app record type and profile so right now I don't have any which, which is what we're going to do today in today's tutorial so also um, another point I want to mention is that Lightning record pages is not a replacement of page layouts because um, what happens is page layouts are still defined based on the record types. So let's say if you have, um, in my case, I have a business account type and client account. For if you go on the page layout assignment, I have two different page layouts for two different record types. So I have account layout for. Uh, I have account layout for business account and account layout sales for client account. So there's just two different layouts I have for two different record types. So this is still, we still need to set the page layout. Okay. So let's say on the sales layout, sales layout is different. Maybe we might remove some fields. We might not need some fields. Let's say I'm going to remove phone field from here. Um, so that is for account layout and account page, uh, another layout, you might not want some other fields and related list. So the lightning page will follow whatever you have defined in your page layouts based on the record types. So let's say if I'm looking at a business account type of record and my profile is system admin profile, then I will be seeing the record based on this page layout. So let me give you a quick example. So this is the basic default page layout which Salesforce gives you when you switch to Lightning, right? Now, this is my business account record type. And we can see here the difference is I have on the related list, I have orders, contacts, opportunities, notes and attachments, right? So that's my business account page layout. Now, if I go to, for example, another one, trying to find a client type record type so this is a client record type and see we have cases we didn't have that before right so what I'm trying to show you is the difference between so it is still following your page layouts rule so lightning pages will follow your page layouts rule no matter what based on the record type that is as simple as it can get. Now, once we have that clarified, let's go ahead and build a lightning record page, okay? So, 
you can either um, actually let me just start from what we have and it's easier that way so I'm going to click here edit page and now um, this is also a new feature where you can like see all the pages right from this one so I'm going to just try to show you how to edit these pages it is pretty simple just like the lightning home pages and just drag and drop all the components you need so for example um, I'm at the account and I'm going to if you haven't noticed my system always it defaults me to related which I don't want I want it to default to details so I'm gonna say default tab details so let's say you don't want it this way right cross it out and let's add from the beginning we can add tabs and let's say our first one is related details so these are just names right and then you'll have to drop the components in there so I'm going to say I want to add all the related list at once and on details I want to add my related record detail right here and it tells you right the record detail content comes from page layouts right and when you click hover over this it also says related list content content comes from page layout and I'm going to make this one sorry details this one as default so that's the first one you see always and also for your information you can also like move this around and you can add tab you can you can name it whatever you want or actually you have you can actually custom it you can name it custom or you want you can pick from any of these Okay, just a quick FYI. Alright, we don't want that. I'm gonna cross it out. And then chatter. So I have chatter component right here. And this is also a new feature where you can actually set component visibility. So let's say um, some users don't want you don't want somebody to see com this component. So what you can do is click on this and go to add filter. And it is very uh, limited but it's, it is still very better than what we have before so you can actually filter on record type itself so you can pick any field from here let's say for uh, account type account name if it starts from test or something you don't want to show that you can do that just an example that's not a very valid use case but sometimes we have cases where you don't want to show certain fields to certain users or certain component to certain type of users then you can actually filter it out that way so when you go to advanced you have you have a filter based on user type so you can have a user field and you can filter out um, based on the user record itself so let's say you have a manager right and profile or anything like that of that sort if you have any user field you can filter out on that and that user will not see that component it is very useful use case sometimes so I'm going to pass it out for now and and this is also pretty cool you can add um, quick links on the top you have all the quick links at once and um, now we can even add a path to even account which is a new feature um, I don't have a path right now so I'm not going to add it but it's there just so you know all right so let's save it and under activation this is where we are going to let me first remove it as all default
so let's not so it has like three layers right we already went through this our default is like everybody gets the same page regardless of profile regardless of record type regardless of app everybody gets same and then it gets little more granular here so maybe for your sales app you want to show certain pages uh, and for your service app your call center app you might want to show it differently so that's the best use case like you can actually define it based on an app based on what type of users you have that's you can assign it that way and then if you want to get more granular you can even assign based on record type and profiles so I'm going to say sales right and next and this one let's keep it for business this is actually business account and I'm going to say system admin only because I'm logged in as myself and save it so we did one page and we assign it to business account now when we go back and then let's create a new page hopefully we save that so I'm gonna show you quickly the difference now this one is client so this doesn't get changed right it is still the same now let's go back to business account and there we go so we have a little list and we notice that it didn't default to related it defaulted to details and it is still following our page layouts so this is how we create um, lightning pages and then if you want to go back and create more um, lightning pages for more different record types maybe one of the record types might need um, additional components on the pages you might need some dashboards or a path you could do all sorts of crazy stuff with this now so I think that's all I had to share and please let me know if you have any questions about page layouts and record types and record pages uh, I'll be happy to help thank you for watching this have a good day